both at about 48% for the season at the faceoff X. Playing down the middle will be very critical today for Harvard through the goal, through the faceoffs, especially with how they ride and clear. And it's an opening possession won by Princeton. And they'll make a couple per game. Ranks 15th best in the country. And they come off that Cornell loss. 15-14. And again, defeated with 1.6 seconds left to go. Here's Mackesy, 91 in black. Nice look on the doorstep and an early score for Sean Cameron. His eighth goal of the season, wrapping himself around the goal line extended. Sean Cameron, someone of a local product from New Hampshire. His dad played for the old Boston Blazers. That's a great... First settled opportunity now for the Crimson on offense. Logan Ip is three in white. He just gave it up. This is Jackson Green, four goals on the season. Back to his right hand, and he'll work it outside. Here's Malone, you gotta watch. Malone goes low and wide, and the shot clock down to 47. That was a change in formation. Teddy Malone playing in front of the goal, on his offside, making Princeton have to adjust. What do they have to adjust to when he does that? Great question. They have to adjust to playing a five-star in an awkward position. You see him dodging downhill for the goal. That's Malone on the scoreboard and a great response that took less than a minute for the Crimson to deadlock us at one. That's goal number 23 for Malone. Coach Hutchinson really getting it done, making the adjustments and putting the players in positions to score. Teddy Malone playing with a stick to the outside where the Rays in, so a couple of second line minis. Joined by Joe Dowling, the junior out of Greenwich. That's Teddy Malone's 23, the 23rd goal of the season. Joey Graham's gonna come in and attack as well. 37, he plays up high. Sam King, first time we've called his name, seven in white teams, leading scorer and assist man, 22 of the latter. Gets it back from Hills and Rath. Looking up top, shot misses. No, it goes in, just left. I thought that went wide initially, and I tell you what, Gian Forcaro never saw it. It's a 2-1 lead for the Crimson. Joe Dowling on the scouting report is a left-handed player. He has box experience, but he gets to that right hand, that great bounce shot on cage. That is a tendency breaker. Great job, Joe Dowling. I think two and a half of it, Harvard's had the ball. I agree. I think that's going to be the emphasis. That's why they need these face-offs. They need to clear well. But most importantly, Teddy Malone out of position makes Princeton's defense adjust. Now they have to defend two halves. There's a rip shot up top from King. They moved him out from behind X this possession, and it's a 3-1 start for the Crimson. This is also another rage in the game, is this positionless offense where you can play everybody all over the field. And when you take Sam King, that's his 45th point of the year. He just got off a 50-50. That's a 15-yard shot overhand with his strong hand. That's a great, great shot. In black. I think a guy to keep an eye on here. Ball's loose, picked up by the Crimson, and a chance to get out of here. You see how athletic Colter McAsee is on the ground. You can see how strong his hands are. I know we talked about it in the production. Not only is Ryan, or excuse me, is Tucker Wade a great lacrosse player. My man went to the Himalayas for 42 days on a mountaineering expedition. Kabiri goes on a goal-scoring expedition, and Princeton's back within one at 3-2. That shows right there how threatening the first year can be. That's a right-to-left split dodge down the alley with no angle, but it's against a short stick. So that's going to be one of the issues that Harvard's going to deal with. Who do they put the... Really more of an offensive-minded short stick. Good point. He does play more offense. I will say that Miles Botkis has played some box lacrosse, so he should know how to defend himself. Off the face-off, there's another goal for the Tigers. Quick trigger, and we are tied. Andrew McMeekin, get it and go. He can do that. It's his third of the year. The Episcopal Academy product just stays with that right hand. Looks like he throws kind of a twister. The lacrosse. One of the big wrinkles for Harvard was number 42, Finn Picorni, moving more to a defensive midfield role right here. Picorni on Cameron. There's Colin Burns. 
Now, Cam uh, now Kramer. Pulled down by Kabiri. Rookie's already scored a goal today. Good roll to his right, and he's got two. The elevation on that bounce shot. Tremendous angle, and Barnard couldn't catch it over the right shoulder. Is that the vaunted circle dodge or the split to the roll? But Kabiri took advantage of the matchup in transition, and that's the second goal of the last two goals for the first year from Georgetown Prep, as Princeton takes the lead. A great day so far. Every now and then that happens, because some of the other players aren't. Mackesy has a pull. Mackesy's 91, nice save down low. Barnard goes and gets it and will have an opportunity to clear. That was a great, but here's possession again. And I'd like to apologize. Sean Cameron's father's name is Chris Cameron. His brother played at Carolina and finished his career at Rutgers. I think his name was Brian Cameron. Here's Kramer coming on in transition. Looks right, speaking of Cameron, misses low, saved by Barnard. You can call him anything you want as long as he keeps getting looks on net. Here's Finn. Again, a successful clear for Harvard. There are only three teams in the country that do it better than the Crimson. I don't want to say underrated part of the game, because it's not, but it's one of those stats that you don't look at first. I think with the parity in lacrosse, the coaches are leaning to rides and clears and putting more emphasis on special teams to generate unseen goals or unscored goals from the past. Dowling's got a goal already today. Looks on the doorstep. King misses high, and it is backed up by the white team. 36 that's, on the shot clock. That's the third time that Harvard has done that. They're cutting into the Dodger so each player can play with strength. Nice low look and a score. Teddy Malone. That's his second. The Ten. wraparound from behind, scoring from behind the goal line has been the early go-to for Harvard. That's a great split to a roll there. Malone gets topside to a strong hand. Changes planes around and putting Spidell in. You can see when Malone has the ball, they go over the middle there, flushing from X as much traffic as they can to get assist opportunities. Crimson will give it up. What's that do? Crimson goes on and this weather turns, it's going to make for great lacrosse. And you look at Yale and Cornell, both starting out with victories, both winning by a goal or two. That's it. There is not much separation. Maybe Hutchinson sends out the second group in the midfield here. 49 and White took that last shot. John Oren. He does have five goals on the year. Second unit's been really good. They come up empty here. Although, Prince, nice swim. Palumbo forced to give it up. You don't have any more of those seventh year seniors? 26 year old attackman. Nice look out in front. Nice save by Barnard. He just door stuffed Palumbo. Who is okay. But that is a point blank door slamming. Great cut by Chad Palumbo. You can see the Nobles product. Kabiri with the step back feed. Stick side low. Barnard almost goes into the splits for all you hockey fans out there. But great save right when they needed it. Talk about being timely, Joel. Sophomore, great play there. He's back into the regular rotation this year in the midfield after an injury last season. Shot clock's down to seven. Princeton's got to move. Good look for it and the back of the cage. Massive fist bump for Quinn Kramer. Clock winding down. He has goal number four of the season. Kirkland, Washington. I love this. The righty hammered that one. 20 with time and room. Princeton's really moving the Harvard defense, really generating spots. If the shooters move their feet, there will be opportunities. You can see how excited the Princeton bench is. And here you can see on the replay, the ball is moving. Princeton's really playing great. They're playing confident. They get Sean Jordan moving. When the Dodger is getting approached, that's a great time to go to the goal. Step around and shot. Very little that Christian Barner could do when you're given that much time at this level to look at the goal. Matt, I've never been in the position of Nate Kabir where literally you're one of the top three players in your class. And I just think that's a restrictive. He could have been one of the top three players 
for his age group two or two, three years over. So I, I don't know how to do that, but I just know that the commitment that these players have shown, there's a reason why they're so good. You know, some of it depends on where you come from as well. Mackesy gives it up. Nice shot, finds Cage again. That's one of the rookies, Colin Burns, first goal. You know, you come from a place like Culver or Georgetown Prep like Burns, you're going to be in, you know, a more quote-unquote pro-style system where you're used to doing different things you need to do in college. Talent translates well. I think what you're seeing here is a commitment to what Coulter Mackesy does. Basically like two circle dodges to get to his left hand against the short stick. And they're popping right behind the slide. The second slide was a little late, but that's lacrosse. Unfortunately, he got a step on the first, and then they're building out the backside because most of the defense, especially in the goal, are upperclassmen. So it's all common to coming together, excuse me, for Coach Madelon right now. Harvard got the better hand of things on the opening faceoffs, about the first three or four of them. It has since swung heavily in Andrew McMeekin's favor. And it's going to be a Princeton ball again. I haven't had a ton of Princeton offense. The plant and roll is their move to get to strength. Palumbo at X to get to the left hand. That's the fundamental offensive piece to take out of this if you're building offense. Oh, down low, Kabiri. I don't know how that didn't go in. Optical illusion. I thought that hit far pipe, near pipe, and in. Yeah, me too. But maybe it went far pipe, near pipe, and out. But once again, you see the importance of hitting the goal. This is like the Wonder Museum. That was geometrically challenging is what that was. Harvard jumps back on the opportunity, though, and makes it a two-goal game. You see Harvard doing some coaching there, making some adjustments. They did not do that in the first half. That was keeping some defensive personnel on the field. That was with the assist. Ray Durth, who plays in the short stick midfield. Logan Ipp, 15 yards, time and room, changes planes, great fundamentals. But it might have been that substitution created by Harvard that kind of generated one of those problems for Princeton. Great job to Coach Byrne and his staff coming out of halftime. First goal of the day. Jerseys, I heard from Coach Tierney at halftime. Coach, I think if they add the stripes to the sleeves, it will complete your look when you won that first title. But great crisp look by both teams, keeping it simple. Botkiss didn't like his window. Here's Sam King. Contributed to three of the first four goals. Finds Ip. Who finds Net? King started it. Back-to-back -back goals for Logan Ip. And the Crimson are right back in this. Harvard is, st Harvard is sticking to their concepts from the first half. They're cutting to the Dodgers into the ball and being very deliberate. King is dodging Logan Ip with the plant and roll. All you youngsters, he's not wasting any time. When that foot hits, he's releasing the ball. Woman too is in this era of people wanting to play right away. Logan Darren biding his time. And now really helping out a top 15 team. Malone around the corner ties the game. I don't think Gianforcaro saw that until the last second. Malone hit himself turning the corner. Malone breaking tendencies. He's a lefty on the scouting report. He's getting over the middle of the field to his right hand. Joe Dowling, great job getting in the way of the defender. Malone shoots back behind the goalie. Great job. Gianfrancaro needs to kind of get hit with the ball soon because this Harvard offense is playing well within themselves. That was seven passes inside 10 seconds for that Princeton offense right there to a pretty good topside shot in my opinion. How rare is that? Like that kind of connectedness. Up top score, Quinn Kramer. That's a tough goal to give off the end line. Kind of just a split dodge at X, and he throws a through feed through the crease. Princeton got lucky there. Harvard's got to be talking about this at, ha at the intermission here. But you can see that's just a great skip look. Dodge to a standing shooter. Look, running on the field, and somehow that missed. That may have hit the crossbar for Chad Palumbo, but he looked like he was about to throw a beach ball in the ocean. Crossbar and out, great rebound. But you can see when you get these big Princeton shooters on the run, they are tough to deal with. 
Now from X, look at the way this ball whips. Mackesy, to his left. Left, that's his go-to side. That ball was still alive, and it finds the back of the net. Piece by piece, Coulter Mackesy changing direction, taking 18-yard shots, hitting the goal, and then the awareness of his teammates to pick up that Lucy right in front of the goal and finish that. That's one of those goals that could lead to another one for Princeton, but look at that stretch shot, Barnard with the save. Great finish off that loose ground ball there. Princeton isn't rolling, but they're starting. When it happens in a game situation. Here you have the extra opportunity. I'm gonna just guess that someone's gonna fill the crease. I'm gonna guess that Sam King is gonna end up on the right side eventually, that Teddy Malone will end up on the left side. Played a strength with Botkus here, who's a great extra man player. Botkus is 27 in white for Harvard. Gave it up, quite literally. Nope, it was tipped, it stays with Harvard. Harvard is one of the best man-up units in the country. Number three, 62% of the time they score with the advantage. And they do it again. Graham Blake's 20th of the season. Don't zone us. One goal game. Graham Blake, like you just said, is the zone breaker. That's his job, is to finish. And if he's gonna get that great spot on the right wing, he's gotta do his part. But you can see Princeton wondering if they should rotate up. Maybe should he make that call worth slowing the momentum or from the standpoint of the fan? Uh, I mean, if it's the right call, yeah. I love that very qualified, right in the middle of the fence answer there. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna get it right, I mean, the right call is the right call. If it's a goal, it's a goal. That Harvard shot was, Harvard was way out. So that um, was actually not a bad idea. But Harvard's gonna have an opportunity here with the shot clock uh, out of the picture and 30 seconds to go. We've not talked a lot about the short six for Harvard. Short six for Harvard. Owen Guest is one right here. Maybe that's because Princeton just goes on anybody, anybody. But it's an opportunity here with Miles Botkus pushing. Botkus got to the goal. Tried to go across the face of the goal. Did the ball go in on the second chance? That was some wizardry. Wow, for all you youngsters out there thinking about playing box lacrosse, that was a twister. Botkus ran out his angle. Just kind of puts the stick on his right shoulder. Great finish. He only gets that playing box lacrosse. I know we got a lot of fans out there. He's from the West Coast. Some people say it's the best coast, but they are playing a lot of box lacrosse. That's an insane finish with no angle. <laughs> I think that went across the ankle on their resume as well. It was Harvard taking down Michigan on the road and Princeton taking down UNC on the road. If this keeps up, the Ivy should be well represented in the NCAA tournament. Guys? Mike, you've got the top eight teams in the country, then the Ivy League, and then teams 17 through 25. The Ivy's got the lockdown on the, the high teens in the national rankings, and of course, a, a very relevant national conference. Yale, the most recent national champion. Princeton's won it six times in its history. You gotta go through the Ivy if you wanna make it to Memorial Day weekend a lot of times. Right now, the Princeton Tigers trying to get through Harvard to pick up their first win of the conference season. They got locked down in the third quarter, only two goals. You see right here defensively what Coach Byrne emphasized, which was defending the middle of the field against this dynamic Princeton offense. Joel, I made the comment earlier about Botkus' nifty finish. And I'm checking our phones during the break. I was reminded that it's not just box lacrosse. It's wanting to just get better. And there's a young man who gets better all the time, it seems. Sean Cameron drops the stick, brings Barnard to drop a little bit, and he just hammered that in the far top corner. That was really nice. That's a bookend goal for Sean Cameron. He had the first one today and the 10th today. Coulter Mackesy running right at it, no slide. The drift, if we're talking language right now, coaching lacrosse and playing really well with it. King plays up top now, seven and white. He's been all over the field. A lot of his work comes from X. 
I hate this. Botkiss to his right. Right into the stick of Gian Forcaro. Transition run out. Here comes Pace Billings. Pace Billings, defenseman goal. Second of the season for the senior from Denver. Denver, Washington. We're saying places that 15 years ago, only two programs in the country had players on their rosters from. This is fantastic to watch the growth of the game. And how about this opportunity, the long stick, the pole goal? Well, and talk, Adam, about the confidence and the comfortability here. You've got a senior captain. He's a defenseman. But to have the wherewithal to not be out of place here. You saw they were not even thinking of sliding to the short sticks. Here's King. He's got 10 seconds. Dumps it out in front. And on a nice one hop, it's cleanly picked up. Ground ball transition opportunity for the Tigers. Nice move by Michael Kelly. That was a great save by Christian Barner jumping back in the goal. And a that flag on the hit to the goalie. Down three goals would have made it tough here. That's a massive save. Role players as well. Not only is Princeton over on the man up today, they've also turned it over quickly both times. Braden Sarles from Canada. I love to see him playing on the extra man. This is Coach Mitchell really getting creative with this offense. It's only a 30 second opportunity. And a goal with seven seconds left to use. And there you go. We were just talking about it. I apologize. It's Braden Saris with the great assist. It's Kabiri with the hat trick and the first time we've heard about the first year since the first quarter. Stick work is so clean. Great feed. Kabiri just steps and shoots. It looks beautiful, but a really tough shot to save. Because the ball is moving across the face of the goal for Christian Barner. So he's got to worry about getting his shoulders to the goal, to the shooter, and that's tough to do when the ball trap in the fourth quarter. So I'm really excited for these last eight minutes. Well, even less than that if you think about it, right? Shot clock's at 80. You figure possession maybe is an equal split. Low goal gets Harvard back into it. Nice look for Logan Ip. You've got to climb back in now down two, figuring you're only going to have maybe four minutes of time on the ball. You're watching, what's the difference with this possession? It was the spacing. Look at all this, there's more players behind the cage. Logan Ip with less adjacent pressure. They caught Princeton changing a little bit and that is a great dynamic play. Keep it. Well said, well said. Ninth face-off win today for Harvard. Every possession's gotta be a good one with eight minutes to go. King, he's your All-American guy. First team All-Conference kind of guy, and a goal, back to back, twice in 30 seconds. It's a one goal game in Massachusetts. So Sam King dodges so quickly from X. Is that a split to a roll or a circle dodge? But he brings Harvard within one, and that was such a dynamic dodge. You can see it's a split to a roll, and he just climbs the GLE, changes planes. Kids, the student athletes playing such a massive game in the middle of the year. You know, it's interesting because you, you have so much that builds up to the very end of the season, and the coaches voted for it, so I guess you, you kind of lean back on that. But it's also the fact that the schedule had just been the same for like a decade and a half that it's almost jarring that things were just different. There you go. You see a little dodge with a pass and pick down to the face of it to Kabiri, who's drawn the short stick here to start coming right out of this timeout. That was a solid attempt by O'Berry to get the ball free. Kabiri pushed below the GLE. Princeton's lead is down to one. Kabiri, you can tell, must hang out with... Low shot again! There must be something there. Barnard... Really good at going down to the ground, but Princeton continues to pepper the low part of the cage. I was just about to say that for a young player, Kabiri mimics Coulter Mackesy's decision making in that they really, really force it when they can and should, and they make great decisions. But here with no slide and a short stick from behind the cage, once again, when was the last time that happened to Nate Kabiri? Probably more times yeah, in the last three weeks than in the last 10 years of his life. Great finish. 
Princeton's running double triangles up here. The triangle with Magasi at the point. And then they're running the crease triangle as well. Darren Slide took away the opening. Second effort, loose ball again low, this time wide. That was a very dynamic reactive save by Barner there. One that him and his teammates needed him to make. Cameron trying to pull off a hat trick, sitting on two goals, 11 in black. Here's Kramer, working with Mackesy up top. Mackesy's a lefty, there's his dominant hand. Dumps it down, and a goal! Off the bounce, Kabiri. That is five, five for the freshman. That is just great awareness. You can see how deliberate this Princeton offense is. They know exactly the look they're going for. Mackesy's got his hands free. They're sliding right to his face, which is dangerous. And they could bury. Four seconds, it'll be the Princeton Tigers winning it on the road, 14-11. They come to Cambridge, and they walk out a victor. Five goals by Nate Kabiri. Added an assist to the mix as well. King winds up with six points in the loss for Harvard and 20 saves by Barnard. One of the best goaltender performances in the country, a top 10 goaltender performance in the country for a single game this season. 14-11, Princeton wins. That's your final score. I think what we saw today were some high-end players really coming through. As we look at the stat line, Sam King goes two and four, hits the goal 